NASA's probe picked up a signal, but it wasn't static. It was singing. In 2004, the Cassini spacecraft moved into Saturn's magnetosphere, a region filled with charged particles and radio emissions. But inside that noise, scientists heard something impossible. A rising and falling pattern, almost like a vocal warm-up. Almost human. They called it Saturn Kilometric Radiation, or SKR for short. A natural phenomenon, that's what the reporters say. But when frequencies were converted into audio, people didn't hear physics. They heard a melody, long notes and pauses that almost felt intentional. But they also heard a tone, and it sounded like somebody was calling out to cross an ocean. Scientists offered explanations. Plasma waves, auroras, electromagnetic storms. But others wondered, what if the universe is just vibrations? Then why can something out there use sound? What if Cassini didn't just record noise? What if we recorded a message? Or a memory? Or a voice that's been echoing through space for millions of years? And here's the part they don't mention often. The closer Cassini got to Saturn's rings, the clearer the singing became. As if something was waiting, or watching, or finally being heard. So tell me, if a planet sings, who or what is the audience? Alien communication or cosmic echo? Comment your thoughts below, and follow me here, where the unknown becomes unforgettable. By the way, all credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech University of Iowa. Thank you for the recording.